Hi, I'm James Ford with another uh, Zen in Five Minutes presentation from the Empty Moon Zen Sangha. Uh, today, uh, I want to address the question, is, uh, is Zen a religion? A number of years ago, I, I served on the membership committee of the American Zen Teachers Association. Uh, it had been formed largely out of a list of names compiled by some that the second generation of Zen teachers, such as Bernie Glassman and Mel Weitzman, uh, um, thought would fit. As it grew, we found uh, it uh, important to explore actually whether uh, a potential candidate fit into that, uh, um, into that little group. Um, we're looking for peers. We were looking for peers. As a peer support group, that seemed important. Anyway, uh, we also found it important to try and clean up that original membership list. And so it came to pass that one of our Zen teachers was assigned to check in with a Roman Catholic nun, Sister Elaine McInnes. Actually, she's one of the more legendary figures on our Zen scene. While she lived much of her life in Japan and the Philippines, uh, she was a Canadian and in her retirement uh, was home in Toronto. The interviewer that we picked is one of the more respected among our contemporary Zen teachers. Many would use the word Zen master to describe him. He went to visit and when he reported back, he said she turned the meeting into a Zen encounter and well, she won. So, a Christian Zen master. But also, most Zen masters train in Buddhist monasteries. Some live in them their whole lives. Others become priests in charge of Buddhist communities and temples. Ruth Fuller Sazaki, probably the first Westerner to be ordained a Rinzai Zen priest, co-authored the magisterial uh, study of the Zen koan, Zen Dust. She also wrote a widely read pamphlet, Zen, a Religion. And at the same time, the Sanbo Zen Roshi, Kohen Yamada, would emphatically insist Zen is not a religion. Part of the problem is semantic. It's how one defines that word Zen, I'm sorry, that word religion. A lot of dictionaries define religion as the service and worship of God or the supernatural. With Merriam-Webster, you have to go all the way down to the fourth alternative definition for religion to mean a cause, a principle, or system of beliefs held to with ardor and faith. The field of religious studies isn't a ton more help, although for the most part in that field, religion is more the cause or principle or system of belief than anything in particular to do with a god or gods. Zen arises in the early middle me medieval China, and while it is heavily influenced by Confucianism and most of all Taoism, it has always been a school of Buddhism which emphasizes two things. One is practice. The name Zen refers to that, Zen meditation. Um, Zen is meditation. Zen means meditation. But it also has to do with a way of encountering the world called enlightenment or awakening. Zen's awakening is described in the Heart Sutra as knowing from inside one's bones that, quote, form is emptiness and emptiness is form. This is a non-dual understanding of how things are. And while I would argue a non-dual insight is perhaps best described within the Zen Buddhist schools, it appears in possibly every religion, each with their own emphasis, but all with a pointing into the mysterious realm of intimacy. So the master Kohen Yamada repeated all the time, Christians who do Zazen can become better Christians, Muslims can become better Muslims. And beyond that, he noticed they can awaken into the depths of the mystery and critically can from their own experiences answer all the koans, all of them, like Sister McInnes. As close to proof of the pudding as Zen can ask. 
Also, this turns out to work with people with no particular faith, humanists, agnostics, atheists, Jews, Christians, Muslims, etc., etc. Sensei Sasaki is right. Roshi Yamada is right. There's a famous story about the Buddha, which is captured as a Zen koan, a pointer to the intimate. In it, a non-Buddhist comes to the world-honored one and asks the question of the non-dual perspective, saying, I do not ask about that which can be said, nor do I ask about that which cannot be said. The Buddha responded by just sitting, present. The non-Buddhist, witnessing this, expressed her joy at this direct pointing, saying her heart had been put to rest. Later, his disciple Ananda asked the Buddha, what did the non-Buddhist understand? Ananda is always the straight man in these stories. The world-honored one replied, that non-Buddhist is like a great racehorse who dashes at even the shadow of a whip. So, if anyone can attain to the way, what would you say the answer to the question might be? Is Zen a religion? <laughs>